All right, have yet another example, actually from back in January of this year, of the pro-abortion lobby once again further exposing themselves as the lawless, wild, marauding animals and savages and thugs that they are. You know, I could say a whole lot more on that, but quite frankly, I think I'm being too soft on these, these bunch of uh, savages who are, are resorting to these animalistic, wild tactics when they lose. But it says here in this article on lifenews.com, and I'm going to have to censor some of the wording because I don't want YouTube to give me a, a strike, you know, because YouTube is just something of something of a whole other issue of itself it's ridiculous but it says here on the life site or sorry life news they get the name mixed up abortion activists threatened to i'm not going to say the word uh because i don't want to be getting a strike and kill pro-life legislator who filed to be, filed a bill to ban abortions basically they were threatening to sexually assault her essentially and kill her because she filed a bill to ban abortions this is back in january 10th of 2022 now here here's the funny thing about all this they uh want abortion available when you know because they, all these feminists are, you know, and rightfully so, they're against, you know, sexual assault. Meanwhile, they're threatening to do that to people they're against. Bunch of uh, hypocrites is what they are. But, yeah, showing their true colors. This is this is the kind of spirit these, these bunch of marauding animals have in the pro-abortion pro lobby. They're not, you know, it's ridiculous. It says here, Nebraska police are investigating at least nine reported threats against pro-life state senator Julie Salma after she, entered, after she introduced a bill last week to ban abortions on unborn babies once their heartbeat is detectable. The um, Omaha World Herald confirmed with the Nebraska State Patrol that they are investigating after Selma R. Sterling said she was she had said she received multiple messages online threatening violence and death against her and her family. Quote, it is fascinating to see death threats, rape threats, and sexually explicit comments sent by self-proclaimed feminists to me, a female state senator, because I introduced a pro-life heartbeat bill, unquote. That's the ironic thing. These feminists are just a bunch of hypocrites. See, they're doing. The, they're threatening to do the exact same thing that they don't want done to them, and they, they whine about what is done to them. Garbage. According to the newspaper, Selma. But remember, I want to point this out as well. This is the kind. This is the what the love and tolerance side resorts to when they lose. They're doing this. See, they're threatening this to her. They're threatening to kill her in the name of tolerance. That's the reality of it all. We're going to kill you and beat you up and burn your home down and, and, and attack your family in the name of tolerance. You know, because after all, we have to defend tolerance, and you're intolerant. So anyway, going on, according to the newspaper, Salma provided copies of nine messages that she received, one showing a photo of a monkey holding a gun with the words, quote, this is a threat, unquote. Another message referred to her, quote, for, quote referred to her, quote, future daughter, unquote, getting assaulted, sexually assaulted. And a third told her that she is going to face the face, going, sorry, she's going to get a great face curb stomp, basically. Get face to curb stomp, whatever. Uh, I'm not good at reading things on a computer. The newspaper reported, Nebraska pro-life organizations condemned the threats in a joint statement Friday saying every human, being born or unborn, deserves respect. See, these these, these pro-choice pro is what they call themselves. They're the ones who are really the, the lawless thugs and the ones who don't have any respect for women's rights to choose. That, that's when you really get down to it. You have a, what's her name, a Margaret, Sang Margaret Sanger actually wanted to have a law passed that basically stops you from having children without state permission. You know, so much from my body, my choice. When you get down to it, it's a bunch of garbage. It says, uh, continuing on the article, there is no place in a civil society for violent threats to be sent to Senator Sama in response to the news that she had introduced a pro-life bill in the, in the Nebraska legislature. No public official or any person, regardless of their stance on any issue, deserves to have their human dignity degraded and disrespected in such a way, unquote. Nebraska Family Alliance, Nebraska Catholic Conference, and Nebraska Right to Life said. Now that's what you call love and tolerance. Just saying, hey, I don't agree with you, but we don't have to beat each other up and kill each other over it. So now we're really seeing who the intolerant ones are. It's the uh, pro-abortion, or I should say pro-murder lobby, when you get down to it. The abortion, sorry, the organizations, which these pro-abortion organizations should be aborted when you get, when you really come down to it. The organizations urge people on both sides of the abortion debate to treat each other with uh, civility as lawmakers debate Salma's bill. Quote, we are proud to support Senator Salma and her legislation to create a state where every unborn life is celebrated, valued, and protected, unquote. They said, uh, quote, together our groups implore all people on both sides of the issue to civility, decency, and charity. As we consider the fundamental question in front of us, it is not only the outcome that will test us, but how we treat how we treat one another, unquote. Last week, on the first day of the legislative session, Salma introduced, introduced the Heartbeat Act, a bill that would protect unborn babies by banning abortion once the unborn baby's heartbeat is detectable. Her legislation would require abortionists to check if the unborn for, check for the unborn baby's heartbeat before doing the abortion and prohibit abo prohibit the abortion if the baby's heartbeat is protect is detected. Sorry, 
Uh, uh, typically, the an unborn baby's heartbeat can be detected by six weeks of pregnancy before most abortions occur. The bill has 20 co-sponsors, and Republicans control the state legislature. So, and again, this was back in January, but their reaction, the pro-abortion, the feminist reaction to all this, just shows who the bunch of just who the uh, intolerance uh, side is. It's that simple. And yeah, you may think I'm being harsh by calling them a bunch of wild animals and marauding animals and savages, but that's what they are. When you're threatening to do that kind of stuff to someone's kids, yeah, you're, you're just a wild animal, really. You're behaving like a savage from the jungle. So anyway, I could say a whole lot more on that, but that, that is pretty much enough. That rant was free, by the way. But anyway, the pro-abortion lobby keeps exposing themselves, and they're going to keep they're gonna keep doing a good job at exposing themselves as a bunch of thugs and anarchists and, and uh, criminals that they are. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.